pops in, they pop in. So today we're going to be talking about um, Minecraft, but we're going to be looking at it through the lens of using the what's called the crafting tables and the chemistry tables. Um, okay. This is just one small component of Minecraft, but what I'm going to show you, there's like a lot to it. So imagine this. This is just one little part of what Minecraft can do in your in your classroom. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and I'm going to share a couple of resources with you um, that we're going to look at first before we actually go into Minecraft. And if you want them, I'm going to put the link in the uh, in the chat for you. OK, so the first one is what's called the lab journal. And these are all PDFs and they're in my drive. So all you have to do is just uh, click the click it and then you can download it. So let me get into the chat and I'll put it in here. There we go. I open up is in Spanish. Is that accurate? It's what's in Spanish? The Minecraft. I clicked on the official site and it's in Spanish. I um, mean, it might be translating the site for you. Um, Maybe. <laughs> yeah, but it, you'll you'll need to go to education.minecraft.net. Okay. That's where you'll need to go. Okay, yeah. perfect. Then I'm just gonna make notes so I can ask my uh, IT department to help. Yes. What, what campus are you at? I'm at Bel Air. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so the first first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at what's called the lab journal. I just put the link for the for the document if you if you want to download it. It's I I have I I like to go back to it because it has a lot of really cool stuff in it. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. I'm going to share a window and share this window. Here we go. just a second okay so this is the minecraft lab journal chemistry lab journal okay and what the chemistry lab journal will have in it is it's going it's going to have all of the parts all of the things that you're going to need in order to, to um, create some really cool chemistry type experiments okay one of them is going to be the element constructor and we're going to take a look at that here in just a minute the compound creator so you have your elements, right? With your protons, your neutrons, and electrons, you have your elements. And then when you put elements together, they become compounds, right? So we're, we're, we're increasing, we're getting bigger, right? So now we have a compound. And then what we do is we take those compounds and we, we mix them up and then we in a, on a lab table, and then it becomes something amazing. And I'm gonna show you how we can do that here in just a little bit. But I just want you to just, uh, be, be aware that these things are here. We're going to talk about these things in just a minute. This is the element constructor that we just kind of talked about a little bit. This is where we put in the protons, the electrons, and the neutrons. And again, I'm going to show this to you. Um, I'm just showing you what, what's in this journal because this is very help. This was very helpful for me when the when the chemistry component first came out because nobody even knew anything about it, and you had to like learn yourself. And, and we we went all went to this lab journal. I still go to it because it's got the recipes in it that I like to, to use in order to make stuff. And so it, it, it'll it tell you all of the different tools that you have available to you. And then it's got your compounds. And you'll notice that it's using real elements. And these things are, you know, when we're talking about um, hydrogen peroxide, it's H2O2. It's, 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 it's in here. Okay. Um, this is, a, these are all based on real elements, real compounds. So it's, it's real science. It's not made up. Okay. Um, and you can make some of this stuff together and you can make a fire if you want to. It's, it's pretty cool how it works. So um, lots of different compounds in here and it gives you the, again, the recipe of how, how to make it. And it goes in even further into, into even heavier stuff that we're not going to, we're not going to get to today. So this is the lab journal and mm -hmm. I'm going to put the link in the, in the uh, chat one more time because we have somebody else that just joined us. So I want to make sure that awesome. every, that everybody has it. There we go. Um, and again, that's just a PDF document. And then that document has like the recipes and, and it has like what all this, this kind of stuff is called and, and where you might find it. So what I'm going to do right now, now that we've just taken a really quick, fast look at our, our lab journal, is I'm going to go into Minecraft and we're going to take a look at how to make some elements. I'm going to show you where, how your kids are going to do this and how you would want to do this with your kids. Okay, so so I need to stop sharing. 
And I need to share again, but a different window. This window, here we go. Okay. Just a second, all right. So now I'm gonna go back in here. So I'm in my Minecraft world, okay? And right in front of me, this is the element constructor. So I want to start to make, because in order to make something, and I'm actually going to be making some balloons. So in order to make balloons, I have to make latex. And in order to make latex, I have to have carbon and hydrogen in order to do that. So I need to create the carbon and the hydrogen, and then I can create the latex, which will allow me to make my balloons. We'll, we'll, we'll get into it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And I open this up by by clicking the uh, if if you're on a on a pc you're going to do a right click and on a mac it doesn't do always do a right click so what i did was is i changed mine to a the, the p and so when i push p i i get the i i get it's like a right click um so now here's my protons my electrons and my neutrons so i know that carbon i believe is six and I know it has six electrons, I believe, and six neutrons. Now you notice I'm putting them in there, and even with fives, because then we can get into what it was an isotope, right? Or, or, or the, the different forms of that element, if we wanted to get that deep, if we really, really wanted to. And here's my carbon. I'm gonna click it. I'm gonna put it right here. So now I have the magic number of 64. The reason you see 64 is that's what everything is in Minecraft. When you get something in your inventory, it gives you 64 of them. And that's like the magic number. Really, you have like unlimited depending on which mode of Minecraft you're playing. Um, but 64 is like, that's like the ultimate number. So we have, we have lots, we have lots, okay? And now I wanna do hydrogen. So I know hydrogen is the first element. So I think if I go down to one and there's my hydrogen. And now I can click my hydrogen. And again, think about think about your the, the kids doing this, and they're having to put in the electrons and the neutrons and the protons. And and you're having those talks about what is a proton, what is a neutron, what is an electron, how how does this work, how do those electrons make the shells, all of that stuff. It's you you can kind of explain it, and they can actually build it right here. Okay, I think I think that's just just really really cool. Okay, so now I'm, that I, Marsh, yes, I'm sorry to uh, interrupt you. I, yes. I think I'm in the wrong class. I, so, uh, I teach music class, so I'm uh -huh. So, is it okay if I log out? Would you be sure? No, 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 I that's fine. Apologize because this is, no, no, no. yeah, I didn't know what I, I just want to take everything where that is you offer. I want to take it. <laughs> not a problem, so not a problem. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Am I making sense so far with the with with everything? Okay. So now now that I have my my elements, now I can create my compounds. So I'm going to go and create a compound. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click out of here. Okay. And this was my this is my element creator. Um, and I'm going to look over here and I put one over here already a little while ago. This is my element or my compound creator. So I push the P. All right. So now what I have to do is I have to make the compound of latex. And I know that latex has five carbon. And I know that it's 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 C5H8, which is five carbon and of course, eight hydrogen. Now, again, if your kids don't know about the you know how, how the scientific formulas of that this is a great way to oh okay now i understand it that's what that that five is for it's for the carbon and, and the a that, that's for the hydrogen it's going to help them maybe to understand it a little bit better i i know when i took chemistry in high school i struggled um i struggled a lot with like the moles and all you know that kind of stuff with this, this kind of stuff i kind of got some of it but when we had to when we had to equalize out the equations I had a lot of trouble with that. I really, really did. And I think this would have really helped me if I had something like this that I could, that was almost tangible, that I could actually see and build off of. And I, I every time I, I work in here, I think, gosh, I wish I had this when I was, when I took my chemistry class in high school, because boy, I would have done a lot better in it. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the carbon, and I know I need eight. So I'm just gonna take some here. I'm not gonna take all of them. And all I do is I'm just clicking on it, and and it's gonna give me some here. Here we go. Here we go. 
22. I don't need 22, but I'm going to go ahead and put 12 up here and take some out. And you have to be very specific when you are putting in your, your, um, your quote recipe is if you're, if you're one off, it's not going to, it's not going to create it right. So you have to have it exact. And usually they usually go right in the center. So I'm going to put six up here and I'm going to put, I'm going to go ahead and put, come on. It's being obstinate today, of course. Let me try again. Let's see. Here we go. And come on. Here we go. We'll put, we'll put 10 up here. And then we need to take off. We need to take off a couple here. Come on. It's just going to be off center today. Normally, when you click it, it'll just break it in half for you, as this one finally did. And it finally did it again. Okay, so now I have actually, I only need to have five. So five. All right. All right. So I have five carbon in here finally. Okay. And I need to have eight hydrogen. So now I need to get my hydrogen. And. And getting used to how this works, like I said, normally, I, I don't know if it's because I'm presenting also, if it's if that's why it's giving me a little bit of an issue, but it seems to, come on, there we go. I'll just put up this up here and then take a bunch off. Come on. There we go, and then we'll do two more. There we go. Okay, so I have five and I have eight. And then what happens here? I get my latex. So now I have my latex. Finally, I'm gonna put my latex in here. So now I need to have latex. And if I if I'm in the lab journal, the lab journal will tell me what I need, how I need to put all of the ingredients because it actually shows like a little picture. I need I know I need to have six latex and I need to have a, a few other items that are going to be in my inventory if. I am using if I am in what's called the creative mode. There's a couple different modes in Minecraft. One is called survival. And when you're in survival mode, you don't have anything. You have to find it all. Um, and that's really good when you're like an expert. Um, I still like creative mode because that way I have access to all of the really cool inventory stuff. So I don't like to, to use the survival unless I absolutely have to because I'm usually creating and I'm making stuff and I want to have access to everything. And that's where I suggest that if you use, do use this with your students, that's what I, I suggest that you do, is that you, you start them in creative mode and let them create all of their um, elements and their compounds in there. Otherwise, it gets a little frustrating for them, okay? So I have my latex now, and now I'm going to craft a balloon, okay? So I'm going to walk over here just a little bit, and you'll notice at the bottom here, this is part of my inventory. This is what's called the hot bar. And this is things I, I have access to that's like almost like I'm holding in my hands. And I am going to, where did I put, there's my crafting table. So I'm going to put a crafting table right here. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and click inside. And you see it, it, all the crafting tables, they have nine squares, just like just about all of the other tables. And now I have to put everything in a very specific order. Again, it's about following the recipe, following the instructions and making sure they all look the same. I need to have three latex here and I need to have them down this row as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull some out, hopefully. Okay. Here's six. I'm going to take out one. Oh, come on. Let's take it out. Let's try this again. I don't know if it's my mouth. My mouth has been, been pretty good today, but. All right, we're going to try two. And then we're going to take one. And then we're going to put two more here and make it one here. And. We just need two. Okay. If I put too many, or if I put the wrong amount, it's not going to give me what I want. Now, 
saying that if I know I need to have six, and let's say that I doubled the recipe and I put, I made this where each one of these boxes had two in it, I would have to double everything. Just like a recipe that when you're when you're making cookies or whatever, you have to double everything. So that's something to think about too when when you're when you're when you're doing this is is if you want you want them to start them off with of course just the basics, but then you go, oh, you know what? Instead of doing one, why don't you see if you can make two and and double the recipe, see if it see if it works for you. And and nine times out of ten it will work. <laughs> So I'm going to go back over here to uh, let me go ahead and put and uh, this is the inventory right here. And I know I need to have some colored dye. So I'm going to look for some colored dye. Maybe just dig deeper dye. There we go. Okay, and here's all the different colors dye. So I'm going to use the green because that's my most favorite color in the world. I'm going to go ahead and put this here. And and take one out, maybe. I think it's my mouse. Come on, use this one to see if this one works. up here and then we'll take one out there you go all right so i have colored dye i'm going to need some helium so now i'm going to need to either go to the um elements but i want to show you a trick because you're the teacher so if i type in helium you'll notice that there's he right here because inside of the inside of the inventory down at the very bottom hidden away are all of the elements so let's say that you you want to create something very quickly instead of going and making another and doing another element constructor and all of that you can actually get all of the elements straight from the inventory by by searching for them um but i don't suggest telling the kids that because you want them to use that constructor that builder in order to learn how the concept of the electrons the protons and the neutrons so i'm going to go ahead and pull this over here and Come on, two, and one. Okay, I need a helium and I need a lead. So let me type in lead, and a lead is just the rope. Okay, so I'm gonna put, put a rope in here, and I'm gonna put one in here. There we go, okay. So now I have my six, latex i have my dye i have my helium and i have my lead and i know this because I, I i got this out of the lab journal that's where i got this recipe from from that lab journal that that i shared with you and now look here i have green balloons i'm gonna go ahead and put those in inside this is my hot bar again so i want to drag everything down to the very bottom here because that's what stuff i'm going to be able to use stuff up here i'm saving but stuff down here this is the stuff i'm actually going to use okay Go ahead and close this out. So now, what I'm going to do is there's a there's a chicken over here. I'm going to see if he'll stay. And it's what seven. And let's see if it'll work here. Oops. And there he goes. I, he's not hurt. I promise. I don't ever hurt the animals that are in Minecraft, but but there's just one funny thing that you can do with the with the balloons. You you can even hook one up to one of the cows, and it goes up super 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 slow. But again, you know, because of the helium. And then if you wanted to, you could shoot an arrow into the balloon and knock it down, and it will come back down to earth, and it won't be hurt. It won't be hurt because um, we're in creative mode. So um, just one of the things that we can do with with the Minecraft. Um, chemistry component. Now, again, this is all about following recipes. But what I also want to show you, and I'm going to go ahead and stop presenting this because I'm going to go back to my other screen here. Yeah. I wish I could show more than one window at a time. That'd be nice. <laughs> okay. Definitely, yeah. 
<laughs> this is an element chart, which is kind of like the periodic table, except it's got like the isotopes and stuff in it. So basically what, what you've got here is you've got your symbol, you've got what it's called, how many protons, how many electrons, how many neutrons, but you'll notice that um, that the electrons, um, and the, 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 that the neutrons changes a little bit, right? Um, and then of course it gives you the atomic weight. So it's pretty much like the periodic table, but basically, again, this is like your recipe card. Um, and let me go ahead and I'll give you the link for this one. And it lists, it lists everything. It lists everything that's in here. Um, and it, this is really great for when you're starting to introduce, you know, all of those, um, those element features. All right, let me go ahead and get the elements here. Okay. Let me put it in the chat. There we go. All right. So this one is, and again, this is a PDF, and if you want to you wanna download it, um, and what I would recommend doing for your students is if you're going to use this, is okay, in Minecraft, you're going you're gonna to make XXX here, and then, and then give them a link to this, put this up in your Google Drive, because that's where these are, these are in my Google Drive, and then give them a link to the PDF document, so that way they can refer to it. And, and begin their process of, of, of doing the creating on their, on their own, um, which is, you know, really, there's a lot of collaboration in Minecraft, but it also, since there's no real, like, way to do it, or one way to do it, um, it's, it's important to, uh oh, she just left. Okay. Maybe she got kicked out. I think she opened up the document. I'm so sorry he kicked it's me okay. out. <laughs> That's okay. It happens. <laughs> I, I feel like one of the students missed. I'm sorry. I, I let no, go. It, 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 ha it, it happens. I, I figured something, something I thought, I'll oh, just, just wait here a little bit. Okay. So let me go ahead and present again. And present this one here. Okay. So this is the element chart that we, we just referred to. Um, do you need that link again, or are, are you good? No, you I was it? downloading it, and I think I closed the whole thing. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I think yeah, because sometimes if you don't on on a new tab, then it's going to open up. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So now uh, this one here, this one's a crafting guide. Ooh. Access. Yeah. This is a this is a this is a crafting guide, um, and this crafting guide is really good um, just to build anything in Minecraft. Because like I told you, there's two two different um, ways to play. Well, not play, but w ways to experience Minecraft. One is by use, doing the survival mode. And the survival, at, you have to find all this stuff. And sometimes it's in the ground, and sometimes it's here. And, and, and it's hard, especially if they're just learning the, you know, how to move around and maneuver everything. Um, but if they're in, if they're in, um, um, what did I, what did I, let me get back in there. I, I, I can't believe I just, I, my brain just, just stopped. If, uh, if, if, if you're in, what mode am I in? Hang on. I am in creative mode. There we go. If you're in uh, creative mode, then you have, again, you have access to everything that, that is in the inventory of Minecraft. And like a balloon, if you search for a balloon, you will not find a balloon in Minecraft. In the, in the inventory, you have to build it. So building that balloon like we just did, you can't find that. There are certain things that you cannot find in Minecraft that, but you can make using the chemistry and using the elements and the compounds and all of that. So again, that's another great reason to, to get in there and play with it. Um, but some sometimes some kids that might, if if that's all if that's too much of a challenge for them, you might start with the you know how that crafting table, how I put in the the latex and I put all that stuff in there. So, um, and what this does is it shows you again the recipes for building simpler things in Minecraft, things that, that you do have access to in your inventory. But if you want them to learn how to build and how to craft, this is a great place to start start them in, because um, um, you know a lot of kids, you know, following a recipe, and I keep calling it recipe. I know there's a there's a better scientific term for it, but I. I 
I also taught first grade for a long time. So that's where my mind always travels back to is, is that recipe, how, how to, how to make it. So it's, it's right. And, um, and everything is very exact when you, when you're using, uh, the chemistry component or the crafting tables. Cause if you don't put it in right, what you get out here, sometimes you get something called junk and it's just this black blob and, um, or sometimes it'll, it'll just like blow up and you, you don't have anything. So they have to be a very exact in, in what they're putting into the uh, crafting table, the lab table, any of that stuff. So follow so, the formula. <laughs> yes, yes. You have to follow the formula by culture recipe. Just, just yeah, I, yeah, believe it or not, I, I believe some high school students will be like, what, miss? Are we next? <laughs> yes, we are cooking now. <laughs> we are cooking with Minecraft. <laughs> So I, I I'm I think I have let me let me get the link to this one. I'll put this one in here as well. If this is another one that you want, um, these are just great resources just to have. And again, especially if you're going to be assigning these to some of your kids, um, giving them those resources, something else that they can refer back to. Like, like I said, I use these all the time, and I've been doing this for quite a while, but. I still go back to them because I don't remember everything and um, they help me to get done what I need to get done in Minecraft. So are there any, do you have any questions or are you, you good so far? No, I'm, or? I'm, I'm okay. good. Um, my granddaughter plays uh, Minecraft a lot and I see her and now, now that I see this, I'm like, ha, it makes sense. The kids are going to like it. Yeah. Pretty sure. um, and then I, I tried, I went into the website and it does have art. So that teacher should have stayed. <laughs> yeah, I know. And and I, I didn't want, I didn't have the art to tell her, you know what, this is good for, for all, I mean, all the areas because using the coding tool, um, you, you could actually create beautiful pieces of art using all different types of stones and different things like that. But that's okay. okay. I, 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 she's been to a few, a few of our, of our trainings and, and, and I could tell that, that it, this was just a little, this was just a little over her head for, for, for right now. She's, she's still learning some, some of the other basic controls and that kind of stuff. So I, I understood. I got it. You also so. did the video, the, the Nearpod quiz, the video quiz. The or video quiz. I, uh, um, uh, Larry was, Larry did that one. I was here. Oh, yeah. Him, but, but Larry, Larry was the one who did the Nearpod quiz. Yes, yes, yes. We, we kind of do a tag team thing. He does the one next week. He's doing one on common lit next week. And uh, I believe it is uh, CK12 is doing a like a double double on those next week. So, and that will be our last mini Monday of the school year. Unbelievable! We are I know. Finished. I know it's done. <laughs> all right. So we've got that. we've got the crafting tables and we've got all that. So there's there's another table, and this is a really fun table. Um, you know when we do labs in the classroom. And I know right now we can't even like be within six feet of one another. So we can't even like pretend to, you know, pour liquids together in a, in a beaker or anything like that. Um, but you can, you can mix chemicals, you can mix elements and compounds together in a lab table in Minecraft and it will respond like it would oh if you were gosh. in a lab. So you could, you know, I, you could just put element, you could put just stuff together. And what's great about it is if you have an explosion, um, it's in a digital world. So I don't have to worry about anybody getting hurt. Yeah. Or any of that stuff. Yeah. I might not be able to put the fire out on my table, but that's okay. You know, I, I, I can live with that over having a fire in the classroom or anything like that. So, um, and I'm going to, I'll show that to you right now. Let me go ahead and stop presenting this screen. And go ahead and go back into Minecraft. Hey, where is my Minecraft? There it is. There you go. Okay, here we go. Okay. Okay. So I'm back in Minecraft here, and the, the chickens, I think, are they're gonna they're gonna get mad at me because I <laughs> yeah I put that balloon up there. Okay. So um, down here again, we have the crafting table. We did that one. We did the element constructor. We did the compound creator, and now we have a lab table, okay? And this is really cool. So I'm gonna put that lab table down there, and I'm gonna click on it, and it says, okay, what do you wanna combine? Now, really, one of the only compounds that I have 
is is uh, latex. So if I put latex in here, and then I put I put uh, I don't know if it's if it'll allow me to put helium and carbon. Yes, it's gonna let me. How nice is that? And then I say combine, and I got something over here. I, I think it might just be junk because it, it was it's not a real combination. But again, guess where you would find in that lab journal? Because it has each table, it has the compound creator and all of that. And, and underneath that is the lab table. And you can actually make some really cool things. You can make ice bombs and I believe underwater TNT. There's a few things that you can make by using and combining the elements. I'm going to tell you, I put some or put some compounds together on this table and in another world, and it not only it blew up, but it, it caught on fire. And and I left the world, and I came back, and it was still on fire. And I left, and I, and so I, I I literally had to like throw water all over it to make it make the fire go out. But it was I was having such a fun time watching everything just blow up and and one second, okay. So do you and have to make the water like H two O as well, or what? You you can. Um, I can let me show you. I'm gonna go into my inventory real quick. And all I did get I pushed E to get to my inventory. If I put in here water, um, there's a bucket of water. Okay. Oh, wow. okay. And I'm I'm gonna put this bucket of water down here and watch what happens when I throw a bucket of water down. So I'm gonna just throw a bucket of water down. And now everything's getting flooded, right? Because <laughs> I threw the water down. Right? And you See threw that? a bucket. I threw a bucket of water, so if I throw another bucket of water, and there we go. I'm I'm making a lake now. Um, so yes, water. Ooh, it's it's moving me. Did you see that? I better get out of the way. Um, but uh, there there is water in, within the inventory, and there's a lot of things in the inventory. And I'm actually going to go back in here and show you where all the elements are. So all of this stuff is all building stuff, like to build buildings um houses whatever it is that you want that they want to build they come in a variety of different colors so if you're really prone to pink or blue or green you can find that color and you can build something in there um, there's also food in here and some of this food some of the animals they like certain foods and you can actually feed the animals and they become your friends and they'll follow you because you're you're feeding them they they really like that there's plants in here um, all kinds of stuff that's in here. Then these, these are eggs, but they're not really eggs. What they are, it's it's a it's what you call it's called a spawn. So if I took if I take a chicken and chicken spawn here, and I put it in my hand and I throw it, I just made a chicken. And uh, you can do that with. There's a whole bunch of different eggs in there. Now I am in creative mode. So there's some really scary spawns that are in there. There's like spiders and zombies and creepers and stuff. And I can't make those happen because I'm in creative mode because I'm in, I'm in like the rainbow world. Everything is good. Nobody, nobody dies. Everybody's happy. But if I w decided I didn't want to be there anymore and I wanted to go to survival and then I spawned a spider, that spider could eat me, bite me and make me really sick and make me die. So that's why I like the creative world too. So that way nothing can make me die. <laughs> I don't want to die. <laughs> I'll be having but, nightmares uh, with the spiders. And the spiders are huge. And there's skeletons. I mean, there's all kinds of just really, there's even a witch and she'll throw stuff at you. So, um, yeah, she, she like throws spells at you and stuff. And sometimes you get poisoned and yeah, it's, it's not very fun. I'm, I'm not a big fan of, of, uh, of the survival world. Um, here's some potions down here. And as I move farther down, all, I, they, kids can even make a jukebox and, and it will play Minecraft songs for them. I mean, there's so much stuff in here. I, I mean, if it would take me like a whole day just to go through this whole thing. But what do you see here? Here are the elements. And they are not in any specific order down here. They're not in the periodic table order. They're just here. So... But this is for teachers, right? So you don't want to let them know that it's here. They'll find it eventually if they're looking through their inventory and, and they'll find them. And that's fine. But what you want to make sure to tell them is, okay, I want you to, I want you to create this compound. Or I want you to create this item. 
but you cannot get the elements out of the inventory. You must create them using the element creator. That's what how how I would do it, and I would you know, and it, it and if you wanted to have a what's called the this is a world that I'm in right, and you wanted them to be a part of that world with you, so you can kind of keep an eye on them. I'll show that to you too. So I'm gonna push escape. And right here, this is my world. It's square, like everything in Minecraft. But you'll see there's these little people here. They're all friends. If I click right here, right now, I'm the only one who's in this world. But if I click Start Hosting, what that means is that if you're in Minecraft Education Edition, it can't be regular Minecraft. It has to be Minecraft Education Edition. And you put this code in, this code, which is right here, these four pictures what you can do is you can join my world and I can have up to 30 people when myself included in a world, which is kind of a nice thing. There's a caveat though, and it didn't used to be this way, but, but I get, um, you know, sometimes our network gets a little crazy every once in a while, right? Well, they put a new filter on. Um, they, it went live at the beginning of the school year and, and they're still trying to fit, figure it out and find it for us. And they haven't found it for us yet. But if I am inside the district, because right now I'm at central office, so I'm inside the district. And if I, I wanted my kids who are at home to join Minecraft, we could, they could not join my world because I'm in district. They're out of district right now. They're, they're at home, right? So they're, they're on the network at home. So, but if everybody is in my class is in my classroom, we can all join together and that's cool because because we're all on the same network if i am at home and i'm doing this and i say oh here's the join code anybody who's at the campus won't be able to join because again there's like a barrier between the network on the for the for the district and all of our home networks i can be on any network from outside the district i can be at somebody else's house on the west side and i can join a world because it's on the outside but if i'm inside I can't do it, unfortunately. Uh, didn't used to be that way. We could we could still join, but so you have to be careful if you if you want to do a join world. Okay, who who who's who's here at school because you, you can join a world, and then you'll have to maybe have somebody on the outside create a host like that, and then everybody can join their world. Yeah, so, I guess um, that won't work um, this year or next year because of the the hybrid. Yeah. Yes, yeah. It yeah. might be an issue next year. I don't know. But um, I, I, as of right now, if I'm at the campus, I can't join a world off campus. And if I'm off campus, I can't join a world on campus. It's just yeah. the way it is. And, and um, you know, and I understand because we have to put a lot of those safety barriers in, 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 in and, and, and we've told them about it and they are looking into it. But they, they also are trying to run the new network and do all kinds of other things. So that little Minecraft join piece is not is a higher priority. And I understand because it's, you know, we don't have as, if, if we had a lot more users using it, it would have been, it would be a higher priority. So maybe we need to get people on Minecraft and then, and then we'll, we'll get that taken care of. <laughs> anyway, that, that I just wanted you to be aware of that, but this is how you, how you would join. And then, so let's say that I'm a teacher. And so everybody's joining my world. Remember I can only have up to 30. Um, then what will happen is here, I will see the people here. I will see all of my students here. Their names will be listed and I'll be able to see them with it. And I can actually uh, see what they're doing in the world, which is another, because I know a lot of teachers there, they're worried about students doing things or saying things or, you know, and, and with this, with this setup, I can actually be a part of the world with them and see what they're doing and experience what they're doing right alongside of them. And, and we can be in a meet just like we are here and still be running Minecraft. So somebody could actually be, be showing their screen and showing what they're doing in Minecraft and as, we're, as we're talking. And when the pandemic first hit, um, everybody in our department, we were all at home, right? And we were really tired of being at home because you know we, it, it, it was only like week two and we were already like, okay, when is this gonna end? We didn't know it was gonna be this long. And um, so we started playing Minecraft together and um, it was really, really fun to be in a world and then somebody would present and so we would see their screen, what they, what they were seeing and we were dying laughing and having the best time 
at still learning because I was trying to teach a couple of, of uh, my fellow colleagues how to play Minecraft with us. And it was really, really fun. <laughs> I, I recommend it for, for teachers to play together. I recommend it for everybody just to give it a try because it is a really great stress reliever. I can say that. <laughs> right, Larry? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but my granddaughter plays ma Minecraft with her friends. Yeah, yeah, and, 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 and yeah, you, you can't be together, right? So it was, yeah, it was that's a way to connect. Yeah, yeah. and then they, I, I hear her like, no, wait, no, he's going to destroy <laughs> Oh, my gosh. And I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> so, well, any other questions? Um, I'm just about out of materials. I don't want to get too deep into it because... Because I know I'll just start talking about something and time will get away from us. But we, but I, I know there's only one person in here today, so you got the special treatment. Um, and and to download, you go to that site education.minecraft.net under support. You want? Would you like me to show that to you where it's at? Under support, I have it right here. Let me. Okay. Get okay. Support. Uh huh. I, I had it on lessons because I was looking into what lessons are. Yes, they have lots of lessons in there. Yes, and they were all created by Minecraft mentors. So there's a lot of really good knowledge out there. And then um, it tells you from eight to ten, and from twelve to six. Yeah. Whatever, so it's and, nice. And sometimes they put they put an age group on there, but it's actually good for anybody because you know, as teachers, what do we do? We always improvise, and we and we make it for our kids. So I don't don't let that age group fool you. You know, check it out and we kind of read a little bit more and see if it might be something you because there's no sense in recreating the wheel if there's lessons in there. See, see what they've got and see and see what you can use. Yeah, definitely. I am. I am downloading it, and yeah. the, I'm trying to find ways to kind of to um, get the kids interested. Like today, we're playing cahoots and yeah. if you like cahoots, that's it all day long cahoots. And uh, yeah, that's that's where I'm trying to get something that is just not burning them because right now they're like they don't want to know anything about anything uh, yeah yeah I, they're, I they're done they're, they're yeah, i know they're all done they're done three weeks from now so yeah it, i yeah i know my kids are they feel the same way they're they're feeling done too they're just you know it's it's been a long year and a half i think for everybody yeah and no. um and we all just need a little bit of a break just to <sighs> take a breath and and, and and get back to business, right? But I, yeah, um, for but for the kids who have have Chromebooks, all they do is they go to the apps, the little white circle, okay. and they go to the Google Play Store, and they'll see about four different apps in there. And one of them is Minecraft for Education. And when they click it, it'll say, "Okay, you want you want to install?" And you say "Install," and it will install on onto their kind of onto their device, but not really. So then when they go back to the apps, they'll see it actually in all of their applications and they just click it and then they use their email address as their username, their full email address at YSD.net and then the, the password that they use to get into their email and they'll get right in. They already have, then they'll have their account already set up and then they oh. can get started and and uh, create a world and, you know, and then when they're ready to end end it, end it, they you know they all they have to do is click uh, save and exit, and it will save the world for them within Minecraft. Okay, perfect. That's good info. Yeah. Do you have any other questions or no way we could help? No, I think just in case I'll probably send you an email later on as soon as absolutely, I absolutely, and Daniel at yc.net. Absolutely. Let me let me put it. Let me write it in the chat for you. Okay, there we go. I'm Daniel at Why is he not okay? Yeah, that's me. And um, you, you can uh, shoot me uh, an email a bit if you have questions about something. I can guide you to to links or other areas that 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 might help you with with different things. Uh, the only thing I can't do is install it for you. You'll have to get your you you're downloading it, and that's great. But you won't be able to install it. You'll have to uh -huh. get your ITS to, to install it for you. Yeah, I'll tell George tomorrow. I, I have okay. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, I'm sure he'll do it for you. Yeah, definitely. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate it. All right. It. it was really right. nice. I wish she had stayed, but like you said, if she's taking other classes, as soon as I saw art, I'm like, she should have stayed. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, yeah. They, 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 there, there's not one area where you can't use the where you can't use this application. There's not. It, it can be put into everything. You just have to have a little bit of a creative mind to figure out how how it's all going to work together. But that's why we're teachers, so we can figure that stuff out. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Very much, Michelle. I really have. All right. And I learned a lot. I already have my notes here. So. All right. I'm so happy. Well, you have a good day and have a good evening and start Minecrafting. Definitely. Thank you. I'll probably right. with, my, with my granddaughter at home too. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Thank you. Have a nice one. Okay. Oh, Bye. Yeah, you too. Bye, Bye, Mr. Snyder. All right. Take care. Have a good evening, y'all. Thank you. You too. All right. All right. Here we go.